Hello friends, I'm in front of Tokyo Station right now and I see lots of people arriving and leaving in Shinkansen and probably you'll be one of them soon. And something you might want to consider getting is Japan Rail Pass. Japan Rail Pass is a pass that allows you unlimited rides on JR train network across Japan for fixed price during the period of your choice, 7, 14, 21 days. So if you plan on traveling between multiple regions for long distance journeys or frequent travel during your stay in Japan, the Japan Rail Pass is a great way to save money on the transportation in Japan. Key benefits are it's cost effective and also gives you flexibility of the hopping on and off JR trains without worrying about purchasing tickets each time. But the Japan Rail Pass costs 300 to 800 in US dollars, so you might wonder if it really pays off for your trip. Also in Japan, different JR companies are issuing different passes and it's a little bit complicating. So today I'd like to go over the basics of Japan Rail Pass. Not only what it covers, but also where to purchase, how to use it in Japan, especially for the travelers getting it for the first time. This video was made thanks to Jaro-san and Agnesa from Switzerland, who was watching my channel and offered to help me making this video. Thank you for the kind help. Now let's go over what Japan Rail Pass is. JR companies used to be Japan National Railway and now six JR companies have their networks across Japan, from Hokkaido to Kyushu. There are some exceptions, but you can access to all of the six JR companies' network with a Japan Rail Pass, including the bullet train called Shinkansen. You can also use it for limited express trains, including airport access such as Naito Express from Naito Airport to Tokyo and Haruka from Kansai Airport to Osaka and Kyoto. If you have the pass, you can get reserved seat for no additional charge, as many as you want, within the valid period. In case your itinerary includes long distance travels in Japan, you can save a lot comparing with purchasing tickets for each trip. The pass is sold for 7 days, 14 days, 21 days, and only available for temporary visitors from outside Japan. I wish I could purchase it. First, let's see the most important part, the price of the Japan Rail Pass and where you can purchase them. There are two ways to get the pass. One is to purchase it online at the JR Group's official website, japanrailpass-reservation.net. Another way is to purchase the pass from the travel agencies that are available in your country. The basic price of the 7-day pass for regular car is sold at 33,610 yen, at the JR official website and 29,650 yen at the travel agencies. The seven day pass for green car, which has the name of the first class of the JR trains, are 44,810 yen at the JR site and agency price is 39,600 yen. Please note that this is the price for the March 2023. The price difference of the agency and official site is like this. To make it easy to understand, let's see in US dollars. Seeing the price difference, you might wonder what's the point of purchasing from the official site. But there are some differences. So let's look into that in the later part of this video. And meanwhile, let's see for what services you can actually use the pass and not. Before we start, if you are not familiar with the Japanese train network, you might hear some unfamiliar sounds or names of trains and services, but you don't have to remember. You will find out little by little as you plan your trip. 1. Shinkansen You can use the Japan Rail Pass for the most of the JR trains including Shinkansen, which is also called bullet train, connecting major cities in Japan. You can make reservation for the seat without any additional charge. If the train is a type connects to non-reserved seat cars, you can also just hop on the train with your pass, without any reservation. Shinkansen can be separated to mainly two different kinds, one going from Tokyo to Kyoto, Osaka, Hiroshima, Fukuoka, and further down to Kyushu, and another kind are going to north from Tokyo, to Kanazawa, Nagano, and different regions of Tohoku, and all the way to Hokkaido, and between them, there are subtle differences of the services and rules. There are some exceptions of services that you can ride with JR Pass. 
That is Nozomi and Mizuho. You cannot get on both their reserved cars and non reserved cars. Instead, you can use all other services such as Hikari and Sakura, both reserved seat and non reserved seat. They are still fast enough and there are no difference in the seat quality. The only difference is the number of stops and it takes a little more time and it runs less frequently. On Hikari, car number 1 to 5 is a non reserved seat. Others are separated to reserved seats and green car. It runs every 30 minutes. For Shinkansen going north, you can get on any service without exception. But fastest service called Hayabusa, Komachi, and Kagayaki don't have non reserved seats, so you need to make a reservation with your pass. You can get reserved seats of Limited Express without any additional charges, too. Something mostly used by international travelers are Narita Express from Narita Airport and Haruka from Kansai International Airport. There are a lot more Limited Express all over Japan. However, some trains ask for additional charges, even if you have JR Pass. For example, JR's Limited Express like Fuji Excursion going to Kawaguchiko and Odoriko going to Izu Peninsula, they go into private railways such as Fujikyu and Izuku directly, even though you cannot really tell if you are on the train. In this case, the JR Pass only works for the JR section and you need additional charge for the part of the private railways. For example, Fuji Excursion asks for 1,770 yen one way for the JR Pass users. If you use it to the Kawaguchiko station, you can find out about it through the app or when you make a reservation at the station counter. And of course, you can use the JR Pass in the regular trains running in the city too. In Tokyo, you can use it for Tokyo monorail from Haneda Airport to Tokyo city center too. So I think it's possible to complete your travel just with Japan Rail Pass. But you might be able to travel more smoothly if you include private railways and subways in the city during your travel, even though they are not included in the JR Pass. Some examples of private railways are Odakyu Line to Hakone, Tobu Line to Nikko. Some routes have substitute lines by JR Lines, some not. Also, there are some countryside routes that there are both Shinkansen and local trains. In that case, you need to take Shinkansen to use the JR Pass. Good example is Karuiza to Nagano. It used to be a JR line, but when Shinkansen opened, it changed to the private company that is half operated by the local government. This can be seen in the some countryside areas, so double check if you see the Shinkansen running in the parallel route. So now you might wonder, is it really worth for me? It's a good question, because if you use Tokyo's Haneda Airport and just making one round trip from Tokyo to Kyoto, the rail pass really doesn't pay off or doesn't make a big difference, especially if you use a discount of online booking. To find out about that, you might want to come up with a rough idea of your trip, where you like to see in Japan and how long. After that, you can check the price of the route, so you can find out how much you can save with the Japan Rail Pass. There are some tools to find out the fare online. Having said that, the flexibility of the Japan Rail Pass is not something to be overlooked. You can get the Japan Rail Pass either for the full trip or for a week or two that you travel often during your travel. Also, you can use a combination with other passes such as JR Tokyo Wild Pass, which is more convenient in case you make day trips from Tokyo. While Japan Rail Pass gives you a great freedom, you might also make some unnecessary movement of trying to use a JR Pass, like giving up the destination you wanted to go because JR doesn't run there. Sounds like what I'd do if I could have a pass. For sure, the Rail Pass affects your itinerary if you try to get the most of it. So you don't need to finalize your itinerary at this point, but you might want to get some travel ideas so you know which pass to get. The train passes available in Japan is not just Japan Rail Pass. Especially, JR East offers different types of passes, such as JR Tokyo Wild Pass and Hokuriku Arch Pass that allow you to go to Kyoto and Osaka via Hokuriku Shinkansen. The benefit of purchasing JR East Pass is 
You can purchase online and you can make reservation online through their website of JR East. But only passes for regular car is available and you cannot use the green car. Now let's go back to Japan Rail Pass, which probably the most people get it. You can purchase Japan Rail Pass from JR Group's official website, japanrailpass-reservation.net. You can also get from your local travel agencies. There are also some agencies' websites that are specialized for the Japan Rail Pass that are available from around the world. Whichever you get the pass from, it is the same pass. But there are some differences mainly in the price, refund policy, and access to the reservation system. If you purchase a pass from the JR's official website, the price is higher than the getting from travel agencies. You can get better deal at the agencies. The refund policy is also different. On JR site, you can get refunded after 560 yen fee deducted. You can cancel online if before you receive your pass. For the agencies, the refund policy is different, depends on the agencies. I saw some agency ask for 15%, some 20% of the pass price as a procedure fee. And usually, you need to mail back your voucher to the agency's office. So as for the refund policy, official site is set easier. And if you purchase from the official website of the JR, you can access to the online reservation system and you can keep your seat from a month before you ride the train. Let's go over the process after purchasing the pass. If you purchase from agency, they send you the voucher by postal mail. If you purchase from the official site, you receive email and you can proceed to make online reservation. If you purchase from agency, you can make plans for now and make reservation after your arrival in Japan. No matter where you purchase your pass from, you need to receive your actual Japan Rail Pass at the counter. At the immigration, make sure to get a stamp to prove that it's your temporary stay. This is because residents of Japan cannot purchase Japan Rail Pass even with foreign passport. If you'd like to use the pass for the airport access, you can go to the JR counter in the airport. If you use the pass later in your travel, you can do it later in the city too. After you receive your pass, you can make a reservation anytime at the counter of JR and also at the ticket machine. In addition, you can use the online reservation system if you purchase from the official site. And now you can ride train. If the train is a regular train in the city, or trains come with no reserved seats, you can also skip the reservation process and go to the platform just with your pass. But no seats are guaranteed, and some trains are only for reservation. Now let's see how to make reservation with the ticket machine using your pass. You can click the logo of Japan Rail Pass on the left bottom and click Select Train to use now. Scan the QR code on your Japan Rail Pass and type your passport information. And you can choose the destination date and time and make reservation. Now let's go to Narita Airport so that I can show you the process of the receiving the pass. I'm at Narita Airport Terminal 1. Today I'm meeting a couple that is going to show me how to use the Japan Rail Pass. I could meet Gerald-san and Agnes-san at the Narita Airport. Ah, uh, Gerald-san. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kangas. So may I ask where you're from? I'm from Switzerland. Switzerland. And, uh, yeah, how was the experience with getting Japan Rail Pass? It was very easy. I went on japanrailpass.net and uh, booked uh, the tickets uh, on the, online. It was very, very easy. Oh, good. So you always make a reservation for seats? Yes, that's correct. Yes, when you get the Rail Pass afterwards, you can already book uh, seat reservations for your extra luggage as well. Oh, it's your luggage. Like, Jerusalem has a lot of luggage today, yeah. so he, and he got a green pass and he could get a seat for the luggage space of the green car already. <laughs> and may I ask where you are going on this trip in Japan? So we start in Tokyo and then we go to Kyoto, uh, Osaka and then we leave from Fukuoka. Fukuoka, okay. We are waiting in the counter a little bit and uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. You have a great trip. Thank you, Fingo Sang. Thank, thank you. you. They purchased the Japan Rail Pass for the green car at Japan Rail Pass's official website. And almost all trains were reserved already online, except for the Night Express. He was guided to have a seat 
received the JR pass and tickets for the train he reserved and ticket for the next available night express. We just saw single case, so we don't know if you can skip the line for sure if you purchase from the official website. Now you have the ticket, so you enter the gate of the JR line. When you take train, you insert your JR pass to the machine at the gate. Some machines are only for IC cards, so choose the one you can insert the ticket. You know how to insert the ticket that your train numbers and seats are written. Thank you again for letting me accompany you. Have a great trip in Japan. Since I made a video about Shinkansen's luggage rule, I have received several questions about the Japan Rail Pass, so let me put the answer for those questions at the end. How can I get the luggage space of Shinkansen with JR Pass? Is there additional cost? The answer is, the luggage space rule is common for anyone, so there is no special restriction for JR Pass users or international travelers. You can make reservation for the seat with luggage space without any additional charge at the ticket machine or at the counter. If you purchase from the official site, you can also make online reservation. And again, this is only for Tokaido Sanyo Kyushu Shinkansen, and there is no this rule for other Shinkansen. There is a limit of maximum 250 cm total dimensions times 2 per person, and ski and snowboards are allowed. Is there any additional charge for the JR Pass holder? Basically, it costs when you travel in the service, it's not covered by JR Pass. For example, Shinkansen going north of Tokyo has Grand Class, which is higher than green car and including meals and drinks. For this seat, the pass covers only fare part, so you can purchase a separate ticket for the Grand Class. This can be also set to the Sunrise Izumo's private room, which is the only night train running in the regular schedule. How long the line at the counter? Recently, I saw Narita Airport, Tokyo Station, and Shinjuku Station. And usually, I see 10 to 20 people waiting in the line, and the line is not moving fast. But when Tokyo Station's counter was super busy, I moved to Shinjuku and I saw no one in the line for the Shinjuku Station South Exit counter, so it seems it really depends. I recommend you to go to the counter at least a day before your long distance travel starts. I hope I could give you a snapshot of the Japan Rail Pass. Japan Rail Pass gives you a great opportunity to explore all over Japan from Hokkaido to Kyushu, so do not worry too much and enjoy planning your itinerary. Have a great trip to Japan. Have a great week. Until the next video.